we're off to Wurra Station now. So in this episode, we left our camp at 14 Mile Beach, Wurra, and we head out to stay at Exmouth in the, what caravan park we in? Uh, Ningaloo Exmouth Caravan Park. So we're at Exmouth Caravan Park. Gonna be here for five nights. Got a heap of washing that we're gonna do while we're here, because we're on mains water, mains power, so that's really easy. There's a little washing machine that we bought from Ranger Camping. It's a companion brand, companion easy wash. It was about 170 bucks. It draws very little power, but it does use quite a bit of water. So that was about eight loads of washing, uh, probably eight or nine. And the lines are full. Have you filmed that? No. No. My um, parents are staying here too, so I've actually, I'm actually using their line for all of my washing too, so there's more than that. Um, this is the detergent we use. It's uh, Earth Choice. Uh, it's good because you don't have to do a rinse cycle, so we're just doing a wash and then a spin and that's it. Uh, so it takes about 10 minutes to wash it and then about two to three minutes to spin. So it's pretty quick and, and, it's, pretty and dry, it's really right? easy and they spin really well. Yeah, like these are quite dry to touch. They're pretty much dry already. They've been hanging out for 10 minutes. Uh, what else? Oh, um, oh. How much water does it use? So it uses 25 litres per wash. Um, for so a two you, kilo wash. Yeah, for a two kilo wash. So you really only want to do it at caravan parks. Um, we plan to stay at caravan parks probably every week or so. So we'll save up the washing for then. Um, someone else asked us about how we do our coffee. It's just the same as we do at home. Um, just a mocha pot and then a milk frother, which we plug into the inverter. We have an um, electric uh, coffee grinder at home which works a lot better than that hand, that manual hand one, but it's just too big and bulky to carry with us. Tiff's old man's just knocked the caravan door this morning and said the winds are good, and we're getting the big boat out and we're going fishing. So he's towed his big uh, Markham catamaran up here. So we're gonna get that out today. Hopefully fill the freezers. It's like they're just sitting there waiting for you to get a good fish. Oh, 
quick, quick, quick. Big shark down there. Oh no. Oh, you got him. I got him. There's two sharks oh. chasing him. <laughs> Slice the shark. Well done. God, <laughs> I hope after all that is size. Way over? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Big chumpy bastard. This is definitely the biggest fish of the day. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh. What is it? Holy shit. Is that it? is a monster cod, eh? I'll get the um should I use that? There's a, there's a uh, gaff. Just keep it completely. We keeping him? Oh yeah. I haven't got him very quick. Okay. Here we go. Got him. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! That is a big fish. <laughs> At your arms. <laughs> <laughs> that is a monster. What the f are we going to do with that? <laughs> We're going to take some bloody big fillets off him. Yeah. Good job. So the GoPro went flat while fishing, but it was a solid day. Ended up bagging out on Charlie Court and uh, Blue Line Emperor. So we're cooking the spoils for dinner tonight. A bit of brown rice and bean and veggie salad. Nothing. What did you say? I'm talking to myself, I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <clears throat> you don't know. Mm -hmm. The Christmas tree over there. Where? Please. Well, that's a big rat. Yeah, I thought it was when I was watching you load up the bench. <laughs> Got a bit carried away. Oh well. Oh. This old man Brian's taking us down to a little secret spot he's got on the um, Cape Range side of uh, Exmouth. He reckons there's a little deep hole here, it's packed full of squid, so we're gonna see how we go. You only just got here. We were just walking on the beach and I just saw him there. He just felt it. 
So the squidding was not very successful. Got one. Got one. Um, we've just been to Froth Brewery for lunch. This um this town's changed a lot since we came six or seven years ago. There's heaps of restaurants, the, the shops are busy, there's two breweries, so it's really happening here in Exmouth. We just um drove past Brody Moss from Young Bloods, so Cam Cam, a beat. Cam's um fanboying over here. <laughs> Uh, and we're off to check out Shot Hole Canyon now. And I think Charles Knife Gorge, I think it's called. Uh, what are you drinking? Lemon, lemon, lemon. Have you ever had it before? Mm -mm. First time? Is it yummy? No. Yummy? Good view. So a shot hole drove through the canyon and the one we're on now is Charles Knife Gorge and looks like the road goes straight up on top. There's a whole heap of little pull-offs off the side of this road with cool views like that. Up here. Yeah, up this way. Be careful. It's alright, I've got my hiking shoes on. You're as sure-footed as a mountain goat. <laughs> a drunk mountain goat. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you want to hold my hand? Stick your hand out. Your head on the sticks. You good? Head on the sticks, oh. Don't go too close to the edge. What do you think of that, Chloe? Mm. That is Can you cool. Put your hands around me, please. Wow. That's it. That's a look out, eh? So today while Tiff and Chloe are hanging out with uh, Tiff's folks, I thought it'd be a really good opportunity for me to do some wiring in the caravan. So the day before we left for our trip, a bloke approached me that was the owner of this company, White Eye, uh, and he offered the product to us for us to test out and to review if we like it. Um, I was clear with him that if we didn't like the thing that I wouldn't put out a video review, because I don't want to plug stuff if I don't truly believe in it, if I don't think it's good gear. Um, so I'm going to wire it in today. I am going to test this thing out over a, a fairly long period and then I'm going to put out a review um, for you guys if I like it. So if you're seeing this video, it means it's already a good bit of gear. The review is going to follow on a, a little bit further after. So what it is, it's called Wire Tie. It's a West Aussie invention. Um, I first heard of this from Trip in a Van actually a few years ago. Um, they've been installing them on their caravans too. It's an anti-theft system for your caravan. So if we're free camping and we're going to leave the van in a free camp that we think is a little bit suspect or whatever, um, and we're going away for a day trip in the car. You've got a little key fob here. You can arm the caravan. Um, and if anyone tries to hitch up your van and drive it away, uh, it activates all of these alarms. You'll get a horn going off. It locks up the brakes so the thing is completely immovable. 
So um, that'll be really handy for us because we're planning to do a lot of free camping. And even at home when it's parked up, not yeah, being used. Yeah, true that. Yeah, even at home when it's parked up, it draws very little power, so it'll be fine being maintained just off the solar panels. That's cool. Um, the kit I've got also has a wireless interface. This is pretty crazy. I hadn't even heard of this before. I'm really excited to test this out actually. Uh, so basically I wire another one into my trailer um, wiring harness on the car. And then it's basically wireless towing. So these two units talk to each other. No trailer plug connected while I'm driving around and everything will work as normal. The red arc brake controller works as normal. Indicators, stop lights, everything. Here it is plugged in. I've just got the emergency lights on the kennel. Van is a good four meters away from the car, not connected. Emergency lights on the van, so weird. So, yeah, that'll be really good because already on this trip, we're only two weeks in and I've already seen people that have smashed and ripped apart trailer plugs from um, gravel roads. Uh, so that'll be really interesting. So the owner Tony has been kind enough to pass on a discount to all our viewers. So if you do want to buy one of these things, I'll put a, a, a link to the website in the description below. Make sure that when you add one to the cart, um, in the coupon section, use our affiliate code WILD and that'll save you 10%. So that was five nights that we spent in Exmouth. Um, we didn't do a hell of a lot. Uh, my parents were there as well, so we mainly just wanted to spend a bit of time with them. Um, we've been to Exmouth. Could be closed. Sorry. We've been to Exmouth a couple of times before, and we've done a lot on the western side of the Cape Range National Park. So we didn't really spend any time um, on that side this time. We explored a little bit over on the uh, eastern side, so the Exmouth Town site. Um, checked out some gorges and some canyons. Um, did some fishing spent time with Nanny and Pa and that was about it. But if you do come to Exmouth and it's your first time, you must go over to Cape Range um, and snorkel all those little reefs and that. It's amazing. The Ningaloo Reef is just insane. It's huge and it's full of life. Uh, whale shark swims, yeah. we did that before, didn't we? Yeah, that's great, the whale shark tours they do here. Manta rays, if you're in season like us for the humpback whale migration, that is amazing. Did you say you can swim with whale sharks now? You can swim with the humpbacks now. Too, Sorry, that's so, what I meant. Yeah. 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 Um, so we're heading just to a, a free camp tonight, um, just off just off the main highway. Um, and then we'll, tomorrow we'll be heading into Millstream National Park uh, via Panawanica. Gonna cook some cod korma curry tonight. Careful. 